Hi, my name's Jay from Merkland, and today I'm showing you how to change this little console trim here on a Mercedes C-Class um, and E-Class of uh, W204 and 212 models, which are approximately 2009 to 2014. Um, these console trims are usually always worn um, or peeling. This one's not too bad, but uh, has a deep scratch here, so we're changing it today. Um, the part is available from Mercedes at the moment, um, and uh, the part number for this one you can see here. Um, all the different colours have a slightly different colour code, which is the last four digits here. This one is 9H44, indicating black. I think there are a couple of different um, codes for black. Um, they all seem to be very similar with the black ones. Um, but anyway, so I'm using this one here, 204-680-0207-649H44. Uh, there we go. So I'm just going to show you how it works. It literally takes a few seconds to change this part. So you open the center console under this part here. There is a screw and this one seems to be quite stuck in. Someone's obviously spilled some coffee or something. There we go. So I'm just going to remove the screw there. As you can see, I'm using my best tool here. A, it's a T20. Torx 20. Okay, and I normally just pull this up by hand, but for today I'm going to show you with a trim tool um, because I'm doing it one-handed. So you literally just clip up the one corner and the rest of it will just unclip quite easily. Okay, there we go. That's out. There we go. And the new one, it simply just clips in. Now, what I would say to you is just be careful when you're uh, prizing this up because these little chrome trims on the side of this switch have a way of flicking up. Um, and... Uh, I can tell you from experience that they can be quite tricky to find once they go flying off. Okay, so that's it. The trim has changed. Put the screw back in. Always does help if you've got two hands, but I'm using one today so I can share this with the world. Okay, that screws back in. And that goes back in there. Uh, of course, at the same time, it may be that you want to change this roller cover. These roller covers are also available. Um, we buy them in bulk off the internet, but I'm sure a lot of suppliers um, will have them. But this one's working perfectly fine. Normally, the, the underside of these lose their little tracks, and so uh, they become notchy and don't go back smoothly. So uh, this one's okay, so I'm going to leave it today. Okay, thank you very much for watching. It's as simple as that. Thanks a lot.